All right, guys, after three and a half weeks and two takes already, just waiting for pieces and figure parts, I am finally able to bring you guys the official video, which is going to be covering my mock, which is called the Silo. And the premise of this mock is that an American, um, American troops made up of the 82nd and 101st Airborne um, took a small German town uh, during the Battle of the Bulge, and the Germans almost immediately launched a counterattack, so it was kind of like a setup, if you will, but the Germans almost immediately launched a counterattack to try and take the town, and so far it is successful, but we're going to start from left and then go to right this time, so let's get started at the tree line, which right here is just a trench area that expands the whole way across the mock, except for these two edges. And I just used a bunch of brown plates and textured it with one by ones, one by twos, and the one by one studs for rocks. And then the only details back here is a German mortar team, which is firing onto the town, which actually put a crater right here and a crater right there. So yeah, and a big thing about this is that I wish I had another squad of my winter Germans because... I could have done so much more with troops, but I just didn't have them, so yeah. But right here, there's a gap in the trees which this half track went through. And right here, you have troops to dismounting and running up to support this squad right here. And then this um, German grenadier, um, he's got a STG with a Panzerfaust on his back. He was actually a part of this half track that ran up to support these guys right here. So then right here, you have the actual gunner of the half track, and he mowed down this American squad, wounded this lieutenant, and killed these Americans right here. And this area right here was sort of the first line of defense uh, defense for the Americans because there was really no time to plan where they would be. It was just sort of a spontaneous attack, so they just had to, wherever they were, that's where their defense, defense positions were. So, yeah. And right here you have two Germans who were killed by the American lieutenant who is on pretty much a last stand right now. And his arm was actually shot by the 42 gunner right there. He's just sort of crying right there almost, but it's a, yeah. And then actually I'm going to update you guys. I'm probably going to get rid of these Brickmania stickers because of the chipping that is happening on almost all of them and how they're sort of peeling and lifting up already, so... I'm probably going to switch to plain bodies with the brick arms vest. So let me know what you guys think about that little detail. But yeah, then right here you have a German soldier taking cover behind a pine tree. And he actually shot this American from this house right there. And then you have another gap in the tree line where this uh, ambush camo Panzer III pushed through and shot the window of this house which blew a big hole in it and left a rubble pile right there and then yeah so we'll get into the this house later and there's actually a 30 cal team that's why the tank targeted there and then up right here you have a german soldier who was killed by this american inside of this house and then over here you have this german soldier who was shot and killed by this american rifleman in there and then over here you have a German, the uh, commander of the whole operation, talking to his almost lieutenant, I would say, just to tell his guys to push up this left flank because there are no Americans left over here. So then you just have this guy running up, and then you have an MG42 gunner who killed this American, this guy, and is looking to take out this guy right here. So it's pretty much just an absolute mop of that entire side of the town so then if we get into this house right here the top just pops off like this because of the snot technique you have the american rifleman and some machine gunner who have kills on the day and then you have this american rifleman who was shooting at this uh grenadier guy before he could get through but he was too late so yeah and then on the bottom floor this house was sort of the um armory for the germans like their explosives anyway so right here 
you have a table with a bunch of stick grenades on the floor and landmines stacked up. And then you have a, and then there's also Panzerfaust and Flak 88 shells. And then there are, there's a rifleman who killed the American medic right here who was tending to this wounded soldier who's also dead. So that's gonna do it for this house. Then that really, that basically just pops right back on and same with the roof. So then over here you have dead Americans and then a little sandbag emplacement where this guy's gonna try and take out that 42 gunner. And then right in here you have my American captain who I switched to have the um, sort of vest and he's just running across um, running across while shooting at the uh, German forces like kind of blind firing the German forces right here. And then you have this American running back from this position. And then if we make it over to this house right here, it's uh, blown out, destroyed, like I said earlier. And then this portion of the roof just pops right off like that, which reveals the 30 cal team who this guy survived because he hopped out of the way, but this guy got his arm blown off right there. There's 30 cal right there in rubble, and then there's just a table in there. So actually, if we put this top back on real quick, and we pop off this right here, um, you have a dead American soldier right here, who was killed by these Germans after he hit and wounded this soldier who was being dragged back by the medic as of right now, and then you have his car 98 and the little blood trail from where he was shot put that back on and then if we actually go over to here here you have um, a German rifleman and mp40 gunner suppressing this sandbag emplacement which just has an American rifleman and my American radio man who is calling in for reinforcements right now and he's just kneeling right there taking cover and then the radio pack is just a um, I don't know what kind of piece it is, but it goes over the minifig neck and it has a stud on the back. So I just created that. And then this gunner right here actually killed this guy. And then this same German squad took out the BAR gunner who was hiding behind this little concrete uh, barrier almost. And then right here, you just have an American soldier shooting down at the Germans over here. Then you have a 30 cal gunner just suppressing the half track trying to take out this guy. And then in this house, which is blown out, it's three stories high, with the blown out roof and all that good stuff. You have another American who's using a leftover MG42 to suppress the Germans. And I honestly would have had a bunch of Germans just being mowed down towards the middle. But like I said, I just don't have the correct Germans. Like I would put my these guys in but that would not be like historically like accurate so I really used what I could so mock's a little empty missing some detail but it's what I had to do and then up there there's the bed and then once again there's that American soldier who got shot by a German in the field and then there's a bazooka guy right here getting ready to take out the Panzer if he can because he's under fire and then the final part of the mock which is the gives the whole mock its name which is the silo which I believe is about 25 or 30 bricks high and it was actually destroyed by a flak 88 that was somewhere off in the field over there because of possible snipers when the Americans were taking the town and up here you have a 30 cal gunner who is about to rain down on these troops right here and everybody running up and then right here you have an american sniper who is currently targeting the mortar team so they can't shoot off any more rockets and destroy anything or kill any more troops so that's actually going to wrap it up and before i wrap this up i'm going to give you guys a view of the germans right here of what they would see from this angle and there's also this angle right here. And I do plan on getting a sort of editing software so I can take pictures and throw together a montage. So expect that for my 
next mock. And then right here is another view, like a minifig sort of view. And then the Americans would see this right here. Right there. And then I'm just going to give one more bird's eye view of this mock. Right there. And that's actually going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and being patient for this mock to be complete. Um, I'm going to scrap this immediately, probably today or sometime tomorrow, so I can enter into Quarantine Bricks 40 subscriber mock contest. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not going to do updates on that because I want it to be a surprise. I already have a good idea in mind for what I want to do for it. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.